This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Multiple Southwest Airlines flights in and out of South Florida airports have been canceled. This was a scene at Miami International Airport this morning where a handful of flights are canceled. As of this morning, more than a dozen Southwest flights had also been canceled at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The airline canceled about 30% of its flights over the weekend. Sources tell us a staffing shortfall was a factor in why so many flights were grounded. The union president pilots denied a rumor it had ordered a sick out in response to COVID vaccine mandate. A woman is behind bars after police say she opened fire in a Metro by T-Mobile store in Lauder Hill. 27-year-old Rachel Boyce turned herself into police. Officials say surveillance images show her shooting her former boss. Police say a bullet went through his arm and into his chest. He was transported to the hospital. No word on his condition. Boyes has been charged with attempted first degree murder. A woman is recovering after a Lauder Hill home goes up in flames. It happened at the 7400 block of Northwest 38th Court in Lauder Hill. Investigators tell us she was the only person inside at the time. Five people were displaced. The Red Cross is assisting them. The cause of the fire is under investigation. A Miami Beach police officer is recovering following a crash while on his ATV. The accident happened when a driver failed to yield Sunday morning at the intersection of 9th Street and Washington Avenue. Police arrested the driver, 26-year-old Nash Tajane Martin, who they say had a revoked driver's license from New York and should have never been driving in the first place. I just heard the accident and I saw the cop roll over the hood and he was on the ground and uh, so I ran over there just to instant reaction, just to assess him. The officer was rushed to the hospital with a laceration to his head, but is expected to make a full recovery. Thankfully, no one was hurt. The Miami Carnival was in full swing on Sunday at the Miami-Dade County Fairgrounds. A parade featured people celebrating in very colorful and extravagant outfits and was done so safely. Guests attending the festivities were required to have a negative COVID PCR test with temperature checks and masks still required upon entry. Now, CBS4 weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Good Monday morning. A few showers have been popping up here and there this morning so far, especially across the upper and lower keys. Now throughout the day, keep the umbrella close. Plenty of sunshine highs in the upper 80s with scattered showers, and we'll see more of the same going into your Thursday and Friday. The breeze builds though middle to late week. That will enhance our chance for more passing storms. Maribel, back to you. That's it. Thanks. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.